Alright, so in this video we're finding the linear equation from a graph using the gradient point method. In your last video you found the equation from a graph using the gradient intercept method. Now you'll remember that the gradient intercept method used the gradient and the y intercept to put back into our general equation y equals mx plus c to find the equation. Now this uses the gradient and a single point doesn't have to be the y-intercept, it can be any point at all. Uh, you would use this when you don't know what the y-intercept is. You can see that someone has drawn this line so that it doesn't cross that y-intercept, so I can't see what my y-intercept is. You still need to know the gradient here, so that's our first step. Now, you can see that the gradient for this particular one, if I use rise over run, it rises 2 for every 1 that it goes across. So if my gradient is m equals rise over run, my rise is 2, my run is 1, so my gradient is just 2. Now this next part's a little complicated, so we'll grab another board here. Uh, now remember that we're going to take these things and put it into our equation y equals mx plus c. We're half of the way there, we know that m is 2. So y equals 2x plus c. Now we don't know our c value, we don't know our y-intercept, but if we knew it, if we could find it, uh, we would know what our general equation is. Now what we do know is that there is a point on this line, point 3, 2. That means that when x equals 3, y equals 2. So what we can do is sub point sub point 3, 2 into our equation. Now when we do that, when y is equal to 2, x is equal to 3, plus c. So 2 equals 2 times 3 plus c. Now if we work with this a little bit, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 equals 6 plus c. Now, we want to isolate C. We'd like to know what C is. We can take that positive 6 and move it to the other side. 2 minus 6 equals C. So C equals negative 4. So now we know two things. We know that our gradient is 2, and we know that our C value is negative 4. Our last step is really just to put it back into that equation, y equals mx plus C. So our final equation is going to be y equals 2x minus 4. Now that was finding the linear equation from a graph using the gradient point method. We've got a straight line, there's a point there, and it allows us to find the equation of that line.